For 37 weeks in 1864, General William T. Sherman made Georgia his battleground. Observing the 150th anniversary, we present this week-by-week -week chronicle, 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March. I'm Masood Olafani for the Atlanta History Center. It is mid-November, 1864. In a letter to Ulysses S. Grant, William Tecumseh Sherman writes, I prefer to make a wreck of Atlanta, and with my army move through Georgia, smashing things to the sea. With that, Sherman undertakes the next stage of his war in Georgia, the Savannah Campaign known as the March to the Sea. What he proposes is unheard of. Abandoning his supply lines, he will set off on a 250-mile march through enemy territory with over 60,000 men relying on the resources of Georgia and its citizens. He writes his armies will be loaded only with the essentials for a long march and will be, depending on the country, for forage and vegetables. By this, he writes, I propose to demonstrate the vulnerability of the South and make its inhabitants feel that war and individual ruin are synonymous. Sherman wants his scorched earth policy to have not only economic, but also psychological impact upon the people of Georgia and the Southern cause. I will push into the heart of Georgia, he writes, destroying all. I'm Masood Olafani, and this is week 30. 37 Weeks, Sherman on the March is a production of the Atlanta History Center and Georgia Public Broadcasting.